Obviously. Obviously. Because little b and h and little c, they only occur in that picture. And the sooner I liberate myself from that picture, the better. Now, uh, my claim is that there is a simple expression that has the same value as b less than h. Is anybody willing to make a suggestion? Uh, the length of b of a or b a or a b is is less than uh, e a, yeah, and that fo follows from similar triangles. Yeah. These two triangles are similar because they have both have that right angle there and they share that one. So these two sides, the ratio of them is the same as the ratio of uh, the hypotenuses. So BA less than EA is the one. Is that okay? Yeah. Apparently. little bit amazed. Well, according to the rules of the game, uh, the other condition yields me that CA less than EA. Let me check. You check whether I've made an error. Yes. Yes. A A B. You have to show that each time uh, that special function finishes at least for a certain amount. In your case, you have to say This is not. This is this does this does not hold for. Um, uh, because the space is finite. But I did make an error. I did make an error. I did make an error. Yes, yes. There is a one-bit rabbit in this proof. And I made the wrong choice. I chose the line, but I shouldn't do that. Here we go. This, by the way, was very instructive, and I leave it that way. But. The remark is that I have to choose a new E and let that be A. That is my new E. And now the question is, will the new Q go through B or will it go through C? So my new, my new E becomes A, and my new Q becomes of the lines B, C, and, sorry, of the lines B, E, and C, E, the nearest to A. So, and now I will have P again. 
Yes. No. 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 One of the three. One of the three. But here is, and now here is our drawing. Here was Q. Here was the old E. Now make the same. Yeah. Here is my A. Here is, for instance, my B. Now this. Now I'm interested in this distance. The distance from A to the new Q. Because this will be my new E. Now, now we have the same picture. We call this B and we call this H. Only now it becomes a little bit different here. Because B less than H is now AB less than BE. Similarly, C less than H will be that AC less than CE. So, oops, again. How am I doing with that? Uh, next step. What does this follow from? Do we have to derive this? What does this follow from? Now have a look. If x oh this is very funny. Uh, if x is larger than y and x prime is larger than y prime, what are you willing to conclude? In general. X is larger than y and x prime is larger than y prime. Can you draw an obvious conclusion from that? Yes, for instance, x plus x primes is large, is, is uh, at least, I can't even put at least here, yes. x plus x prime is at least y plus y prime. Monotonicity of the addition. Write now down the contrapositive of this relation x less than y or x prime less than y prime follows from x plus x prime less than y plus y prime. And therefore, here you see the form of exactly this relation and on account of the monotonicity, This follows from AB plus AC is less than BE plus CE. Okay. So far so good. Now, listen. We will n B and C are distances. So the minimum of them is at least zero. We have to demonstrate that that minimum is less than h. We can never prove that for h is zero. So we have to take into account something, some statement of the fact that h differs from zero.